the annual meeting tonight. Really excited to have uh, Paul Pasconi joining us. I'd like to welcome all of our members and those that are not members. And those of you that are not members, we'd love to have you consider joining us. I'd welcome our past presidents of the chamber that are in attendance. I'd ask you that you please stand. First is in 1994, Kevin King. Kevin? Nineteen ninety-three, I guess we're going back to it, but Ruel Miller. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nineteen ninety-three. And in two thousand and two thousand and one, Bob Dijon. Uh, yeah. And in two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, Robbie Giuliano. Yeah. Uh, Now we'd like to recognize members that have achieved milestones of 30 years, 20 years, and 10 years of continuous membership in the Cheshire Chamber. 30 years with the Chamber, the Cheshire Economic Development, the town of Cheshire. And that's going to be Jerry. Jerry, come on up. Years, Alexander and Grennan, chiropractors, Eliza Samoji, MD, and Benefits Group. Can you please come up? self-storage, and this one I can't believe, Kavona LLC, and Highlands Healthcare Center. I'm sorry, we had one oversight for past presidents who thought he might have been at a town council meeting tonight, but uh, I want to introduce Peter Talbert. Peter, please stand up. Uh, we do want to thank the retiring 2012 directors, Steve Radovitz and Jim Mealy. Uh, Steve? Uh, Steve has been our treasurer for how many years? Eight, right? Two, right? So we actually released the shackles and he's been a great help for all these years. Um, we also did want to recognize Dave Eustace for his service as a board member. Uh, Dave is with Cheshire Academy. Steve, would you just come up for a minute? Um, our vice chair to my left here is Wendy Stevens from the Cheshire YMCA. Also on the executive committee, we have Matt Hall. Matt? Okay. And our new treasurer, Steve Choquette. Steve. <laughs> Rob Coda, Doug McNamara. <laughs> Renee Kurtz. <laughs> Barbara Davis. Barbara Fortier. Barbara's here. Barbara. Gary Kaczynski, Joseph Bowman, Joe, John Mylone, Sam Radner, Cindy Russo, Donald Maleski, And Peter so we now have our awards presentation. I'm going to ask Wendy to help me out with this. We have two recipients this evening for the enhancement of the Cheshire community. The first one is Diversified Builders for the Keeler Residence. Much of the structure's original details exist in good condition. 
and the form of the building has remained essentially unchanged except for some minor additions such as the second story open porch in the southwest corner. The shallow roof, ornate entrance porch, and arch-shaped windows are characteristic of the style. Congratulations to Keela residents and diversified builders. Come on up. The second one is for Guardian Angels for the renovation of the uh, Colonial Benjamin Hall House. Great care was taken to uncover some of the original design detail and to restore the property to its original grandeur and preserve its rich local history. Guardian Angels. Okay, the next category is special recognition. And we have Steve Radwitz. Steve was born and raised in New Britain, graduated from UConn, and joined the chamber shortly after moving to Cheshire in 1981. Walk during all of our financial questions and uh, all of our finance meetings, and it's been a pleasure working with him. I've only been with the chamber for a short time, but we realized that um, you know Steve was one of those who had like this indefinite life sentence term, and he finally said, "Guys, I'm getting tired doing the past decade with the chamber and with the finances." Thanks so much, and come on up. Our next award is for special support of the Chamber, and it goes to Naugatuck Savings Bank. Naugatuck Savings Bank employees are encouraged to volunteer their time and make a difference to help local community and nonprofit organizations. We thank them for their outstanding support of not only the uh, Chamber, but also the community they serve. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Mara. Our next category is special support of the Cheshire community. And this year's recipient is Mary Mallon. Mary is a licensed real estate broker associated with Calcany Associates. She is a past president of the Cheshire Rotary Club, was for two years. One of those organizations you might stay on forever if you don't say, hey, it's time for my turn to be up right there. We congratulate Mary for her many years devoted to community service. It's my pleasure to announce this year's recipient, Mary. Our next award winner is for Member of the Year and goes to Dennis Sonia. Janice established Computer U over 25 years ago with the basic goal of helping small businesses and organizations with their bookkeeping and accounting functions. She helps owners to manage the day-to-day -day operation of their business and provides information required to file all state and federal taxes. We thank her for many years of dedication to our chamber. Personally, I had the opportunity to work with Jan over the past year, and it's really been a lot of fun, and we really appreciate all the effort that she's really helped with the chamber with the accounting process. So thank you, Jan. State Farm Insurance Agent Derek Bronco has been a member of the Cheshire Chamber since January of 2012. He joined shortly after relocating his agency from Meredith to Cheshire. Derek is an active member of several chamber committees, including the program services, governmental relations, and the chamber's business networking group. Cheshire currently, Derek currently resides in Cheshire along with his wife Jill and their 10-year-old twin daughters. Congratulations, Derek. The yeah, next award is for the Cheshire Business Women Alliance Member of the Year, and it goes to Ghetto Walker. Ghetto. Resident in Cheshire with husband Brad, favorite job is to be mom to Sarah, Nicole, and Raymond James. Congratulations, Ghetto. Yeah. We actually have 
two award winners in this category. So Yen is going to stay in here for a second, while we also recognize Barbara Taylor Hatchie, the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce, and last but not least, she mentors a Middletown school student through the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations, Barbara, and come on up to receive your award. The uh, next award is for Teacher of the Year, and I'd like to ask uh, Greg Florio to come up. Um, that is a program where students with disabilities and their non-disabled peers participate in various sports, basketball, soccer, volleyball, against other schools. Over 10 years ago, Dan Lee, this year's Teacher of the Year, began a unified sports program at Chester High School. He is a gentleman who is in it for the kids, and he is certainly ahead of his time. He is a great asset to this community and an outstanding teacher. Thank you. The next award is for Fireman of the Year, and I'd like to ask Jack <laughs> Kasner, please come up. Sense of dedication and professionalism. During the course of his duties, he has spent countless hours serving the town, carrying out the mission of the fire department. He's highly regarded by his members, who also elected him to be Firefighter of the Year, and he's on track to be a future leader in our organization. Last year alone, George responded to 692 emergencies over the course of the calendar year, so that's a representation of what, what George represents. George is here with his parents, Mike and Ellen, tonight. His sister, Erin, was too cool to be here, but she, she will be uh, maybe at the next one. He's employed by Campion Ambulance, and, uh, and he's a, a, good, a good member of the uh, department. He's also a good friend, and I, uh, I think George kind of represents what a community volunteer really needs to be. So, George, if you would come up. Our next award is for Policeman of the Year, and I'd like to ask Neil to please come up. Good evening, everyone. I hope you will indulge me. Uh, going to divert a little bit from our uh, program tonight. Because um, something came up when I was thinking about wonderful things to say about Mike Durkee, who's uh, the Cheshire Police Department's Police Officer of the Year. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here tonight. Mike doesn't know this, and neither does any of his family. And none of you knew it either until right now. So <laughs> This is a uh, little um, narrative that we wrote up about an incident that Mike was involved in back in November. And uh, again, if you'll indulge me. On November 10th, I'm sorry, November 20th, 2012, at 6.05 p.m., Officer Michael Durkee was dispatched to a residence on Bear Path Court on a report of a person choking. When Officer Durkee arrived at the scene, he observed an elderly female sitting at the kitchen table turning blue. Officer Durkee learned that a registered nurse had already attempted the Heimlich maneuver without success. Officer Durkee immediately began first aid, placing the patient on the floor and initiating chest compressions. Upon doing so, a piece of food was dislodged from the victim's throat. By the time emergency medical personnel arrived at the scene, the patient was breathing and her color was returning to normal. She was ultimately transported to St. Mary's Hospital for further treatment. Officer Durkee's immediate and proper application of his training is credited with saving the life of the patient. So Officer Durkee, in addition to being the Cheshire Police Department's Police Officer of the Year, your actions in this incident are a credit to you as a law enforcement officer and to the Cheshire Police Department. And when you get up here, you'll also be awarded the Cheshire Police Department's Life Saving Award on this, the 12th day of February, 2013. But it's things like that, the whole picture there, the whole career, the way that he conducts himself on a day-to-day -day basis, the kind of police officer that he is, that made it very easy and uh, gave us a great sense of pride in the organization um, to nominate Mike Durkee as the Cheshire Police Department's Police Officer of the Year. So, Mike, please come up. Thank you, 
you please come up? Or the rest of the dollars for the enhancement of the Cheshire community. We just wanted to uh, call congratulations. Well, before we hear our speaker, we're going to have dinner served, and the, uh, <laughs> the staff will be directing people where to go in just a second. So thank you, and uh, enjoy your meal.